guys, happy Halloween. Let's get into it. We're gonna be a wolf woman today. Here are the reference pictures I chose. We're gonna be starting off with the brows using the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit Cosmetics. And I'm gonna start it off as a normal brow, starting from the base of the brow, bringing it up with the spool. And then you're gonna see me do some short strokes going up towards the hairline. And I'm just doing some short strokes, some long strokes as well. We want these brows to look super messy. We're using the spool too to brush the hairs up. But I'm basically just following how the hair grows. So you can see I'm going up towards the temples here and then going down where the tail goes down. So don't worry about it being super clean. We want this to look really messy and hairy, so don't worry. And that's what I love about Halloween looks is you can be super messy with them and it still looks really, really good. I'm gonna set and bring the hairs up with the 24 hour brow set by Benefit. And then I'm going to clean these brows with the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm using Light Medium Honey. And I'm going to use an E68 by Sigma to do this, starting from the base, pushing down towards the eye, making this nice and clean and bright. And it just kind of gives more emphasis of, of the messy look on top. Doing the same thing on the other side. I'm just blending it out with my finger. For a primer, I'm using MAC Painterly and a P86 brush by Sigma and just blending this all the way out towards the end of the brow and a little past it as well, a little past the tail because we really are going to extend this eyeshadow. I'm using the Morphe 3502 brow, uh, O2 palette. I'm so excited to use this. What a beautiful palette. I'm taking a 224 brush from Sigma, taking that orangey base color. And I'm just going to use this as our first transition color. As you guys know me, I mix every freaking color almost in the palette. So we're going to be here for a while blending, but it's all worth it because it comes out so nice. So I'm following the shape of the eye, going towards the tail of the brow, following the whole bone structure of the eye so we can really extend this out. And it might look messy at first, so don't worry. We're going to take this chocolatey color and just kind of go in there as well. I think these have names, but I think I misplaced the paper. So please don't be mad. But I'm using the same brush, the same 224, just going along the same kind of strokes. Going back and forth, windshield wipers, following that S shape of the eye. I'm using an M511, just a clean brush to blend out by the brow bone. Taking a darker, more maroon brown shade, using a 221. And you can see I'm just deepening that area a little bit, kind of making it a little bit darker and a little bit more of a focused blend. I love the way these cat eyes look. It's just so cool. And I figured with this wolf look, it just kind of worked. Using this taupe chocolate brown, I'm going to use the same brush, blend it back and forth. I wanted to just create a really nice base for the black that we are going to use. You guys can stop here if you don't want to use black, but I feel like black just creates the best contrast. I'm using an Urban Decay flat brush with this black, and we're just patting it on the lid, bringing it up a little bit to the crease, but not too much because the black is unforgiving, so be careful. But we're gonna pat it as much as possible on the lid so we get a really nice pigment. And I'm gonna go back and forth with the 221 so it blends out nice. Still gonna go towards the outer V to kind of create that cut there. And you're just gonna see me packing this on as much as possible. And you will see me kind of create a wing kind of shape on the outer V. So it kind of just goes up in that line and all blends together. This palette is absolutely beautiful. I love the original 35-0. So the fact that they made another one that was just as good, I actually feel like their formula is getting better. So it was pretty exciting to use this for this tutorial and just kind of test out almost every color. Definitely at least all the mattes. So I'm just gonna go back and forth with the 221. And then we're gonna start the eyeliner and we're gonna leave the wing open. You'll see me do it right here. I'm using the Kat Von D tattoo liner. And we're just gonna leave this part open right here. We're just gonna leave a little bit of a a gap because we're gonna put some white eyeliner in between so it just gives it more of a cat eye look makes the eye look a lot bigger so I'm using white from Tarte this is their clay paint liner and I'm just using a winged eyeliner brush from Sigma 
and just filling in that little gap. And I love how opaque this liner is. It looked perfect. It just made life easy because it was just super opaque and I didn't have to keep going over it, which is awesome. Thank you, Tarte. For mascara, of course, I'm using Tarte's Tardis Mascara. Going back and forth with the uh, M511 brush and the 221 just to make sure everything is blended. I'm gonna be blending out probably throughout this whole video. So don't be afraid to blend. Blending is key, I'm telling you, especially with black looks like this. For lashes, we're using Jujiba Lashes and Toots. We are almost sold out of these, so if you guys want to get your hands on them, I suggest it because I won't have them in stock for a while, but they are gonna come back, so don't worry. But I'm just saying, if you do want them now, I will grab them. I'm using the Huda Beauty Dark Glue and some Sigma Tweezers to pop these babies on. And then you'll see me just packing some more black on because, you know, I just felt like I need a little bit more. I also fix the eyebrows a lot because, you know, just want them to be a little bit more hairy. Starting the face, we're using the Clean Slate Poreless Primer by Tarte, blending this all over to smooth out the pores and to make sure my wolf face stays on all night. And for foundation, I'm using the Becca Aqua Luminous Foundation in tan and this Tarte Kabuki to blend it out. I've actually been using the Roxanne Rizzo Tanning Spray, so that is why I'm a little bit dark here. It's just like a lifesaver in the winter. I'm just going to continue to blend this out. It's funny because I never use this brush for foundation and always use it for powder, but it's really, really good for foundation. It gives you a really nice coverage. And I think it's actually what it's really meant for. For concealer, obviously using Shape Tape, I'm using the shade Medium. And I'm just going to do the usual areas underneath the eyes, the nose, the forehead, the chin, you know the deal. And the lips too a little bit. And I'm going to blend it out with a Tarte Quickie Blending Sponge. This is the old one that I just can't let go of. I'm going to clean it till it literally breaks apart because I just love this one so much. Don't get me wrong, I love the 3D HD one too, but... I just don't want to part with this one yet because I know it's the last one I have. So I'm just blending everything out, giving some dimension to the face and going underneath the cheekbone as well with it. And then I'm just making sure that the uh, eyes are really, really sharp and have that sharp wing line. For contour, I'm using the MAC Studio Finish Perfecting Stick in NW45, going on the forehead, the cheekbones, the nose. I wanted to include normal glam in this because I feel like I feel like Halloween looks have to be scary, but at the same time they have to be glamorous too. Especially mine at least. I don't know. Almost every one that I've done has to be some kind of glamorous in some kind of way. So I'm blending the contour out with the kabuki brush I used with the foundation. And I'm just going to blend it out all areas and then blend out my nose with my fingers because that is the easiest way to blend that out without losing too much product. To set the under eye I'm using Kat Von D's Lock It Setting Powder in Translucent with the Quickie Blending Sponge, focusing it on the center of the face and then underneath the cheekbones to kind of contour them out. Remember everything's going to be really dramatized so that's why I'm using a lot of finishing powder. Put it on the nose as well. And then for contour, I'm using the KKW Beauty Contour Kit, my obsession lately. I'm using the darker shade because, again, we're going to really dramatify it. Dramatify, is that a word? Make it dramatic. That's what I'm trying to say. And I'm just going to put it on the nose as well and on the temples and underneath the jaw. And I'm using a Sephora contour brush for this. Now for the face paint, I'm using the Meron Makeup face paint kit. I just literally ordered this and it came. I'm so excited to use it. So you have to just mix a little bit of water. I'm using a angled brush from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics and I'm starting with a dark brown, flicking on the brows again. And then I'm going to start to make some hair marks on the forehead, kind of creating almost a widow's peak. That's the kind of style or design I was going for. And I use gray as well because the outfit that I'm actually wearing for Halloween, because I am actually being a wolf, has gray in it. So I wanted to test it out for my makeup tonight as well. 
So I'm just going to make random marks using that dark brown again. Don't use too much water with this Meron uh, makeup palette because it does get a little watery. So just a tiny bit will do. Just kind of dip your brush and just kind of hit it a little bit, get some water off, and you are all good. I'm starting the nose using like a heart-shaped outline. And I use dark brown first. And then I gradually got darker with some black and some gray. Usually it's really good to outline first before making anything darker just to make sure that everything looks pretty good and neat the way you want it. I also it cut out but I also put some gray on the brows as well as you can see. And I'm putting some black lines on there as well. This was a perfect brush to use actually. A perfect angled brush it was just really perfect for detail. I just really like the way it came out, so I'm just going to put some more on the temples here, wipe away the powder with the F37 from Sigma, blend that out, just make sure that is all gone and blended. Now I'm going to start the cheeks. I'm going upwards towards the eyes and towards the ear. Just basically doing short strokes, some of them long, some of them short, and it doesn't matter how dark or how light they are. I wanted them to look really, really dramatic and just kind of messy and hairy, so it kind of created a contour with the hair, which I really, really liked. And I'm just going back and forth, making sure it looks basically pretty symmetrical as possible. But if it's not, it's not a big deal. Just make sure you have some furry hair on each side. And I'm going back and forth to the nose again, darkening it with some black and kind of evening out the shape. And then I'm going back in with some gray and some black on the cheeks. For the under eye, I'm going to go in with some warmer colors. I'm going to start with some red browns and then go into the darker black and slate colors. I'm also going to add some hair on the nose with a light brown and then I'm also going to add some gray in there too and don't worry about it being messy because the messier the better I feel like. So I'm just going to go along the bridge of the nose going towards the center and then I'm using this color from the star palette from um, Natasha Denona and I'm just using a tiny Morphe brush to put that in the inner corner because I just felt like I needed a little sparkle there. Why not? And I'm using the Kat Von D liner again just to extend the liner in the corners a little bit. And then for highlight, I'm using the Forever Young and Forever Lit by Nicole Guerrero by Anastasia. Love this kit. I actually forgot how much I loved it. I'm using a Morphe M511 brush and we're going to give this wolf some highlight. Do it on the lips, the chin, the nose, and above the brows as well. And now I'm going to just mattify the nose with some dark black or really just black powder and just kind of set it. And for lips, I'm using the new Hazel Liquid Lipstick Kit by Kylie Cosmetics. I'm starting off with this liner. It was a little bit light, but I really wanted a super nude color for the lips, so it actually pretty much worked out. And I do like this formula. I think she's changing up the formula a little bit, making it a little bit more wearable because it was starting to get super matte and this one actually wasn't bad at all. So I'm just putting the liquid lip on and then I wanted to kind of outline the outside of my lips a little bit. So I actually used the mink pencil and went on the outside of it just to kind of give it a little bit more of a definition. And to blend it out, I'm just smacking my lips together as I always do. And it gave it like a really interesting gray nude, which is basically kind of what I wanted. So I was happy. So I was happy. So just blending that out with some more liquid lipstick. And that is it. I'm going to set the face with the Urban Decay setting spray. And that's it, you guys. I hope you have enjoyed this wolf tutorial. I know I'm a little last minute on here, but I hope you guys have a happy Halloween. If you guys are going out tonight or tomorrow or next week or on Halloween exactly. I hope you guys have a happy and safe Halloween. Let me know what you guys want to see next on my channel. If you guys also enjoyed this look, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And thumbs up the video. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.